Hello and welcome, everyone. This is Kaylin's English podcast. This podcast is designed for English learners. I'm here to help you practice your listening skills. I'm Kaylin, a professional English teacher on Italki. This episode covers various terms about houses, apartments, and homes. These are terms that you could come across if you're building a home. They can also help you describe your home. Let us start with the interior. Baseboards are the molding that goes around the perimeter of a room at the base of the walls. The molding that goes at the top of the walls is called crown molding, and it tends to be decorative, but it could also just match the baseboards. There's another type of molding that goes at the level of the top of a chair, and it is called chair railing. Chair railing isn't as popular as it used to be, so you may not come across it ever. Not every home has baseboards or crown molding. The homes that I have lived in usually just had the baseboards. Let us now move on to the kitchen. There are different types of storage in a kitchen. The biggest one is a pantry. A pantry can be a small room or cupboard in which food, crockery, and cutlery are kept. Some of these rooms are able to be walked into as they have plenty of space for a person to be inside. They have multiple shelves and are always bigger than a standard cupboard. I like pantries as they are great storage. I have never personally had a pantry yet, but I would love to have one. Cupboards are the other type of storage, and they have different names. One is a base cabinet, which generally rests on the floor with the toe kick and has a countertop or holds the sink. The other is wall cabinet, also called an overhead cabinet, and they are hung on the wall above a base cabinet and do not have a toe kick or countertop. Kitchens can also have sinks, faucets, garbage disposals, refrigerators, freezers, stovetops, ovens, microwaves, dishwashers, and multiple appliances. A garbage disposal, if you have one, is located within a sink drain in the kitchen. It is a motorized tool that grinds up certain food items that can be easily broken down and disposed of, such as eggshells. You use them with the faucet running so the water can wash the food away to the treatment plant, where it is converted into electricity or biofuels. Let us move on to bathrooms. You may have cabinets in your bathrooms for storage and or a closet. You also have a toilet, sink, shower, or bathtub. You could have a countertop as well as a medicine cabinet with a mirror. You can typically find towel racks and toilet paper holders. You can have a half bath, which consists of a toilet and a sink only. There are many different other rooms that a house could have, such as a living room, which could have a television and sofas or couches. You could have armchairs, side tables, and a coffee table. This tends to be one of the most used rooms besides the kitchen. Many homes have bedrooms with beds and possibly a closet, a chest of drawers, and bedside table. These are where we sleep at night, and they can be a great place to express a person's personality. I was lucky enough to be able to decorate my bedroom growing up any way I liked, such as painting the walls and arranging my furniture. Also, I could choose my bedding. Basements are common in some places, and they are the lowest point in the home. They can be finished or unfinished, which means that some people put in rooms just like the rest of the house, or they don't do anything with them, so they are blank canvases. My childhood home had a finished basement, and we spent most of our time down there because my parents put our television, computer, and video game consoles down there. My parents' current home does not have a finished basement; they use it as a laundry room and storage. Some homes have laundry rooms, which is where you do your laundry. You can have a washing machine, dryer, and possibly a sink in them. Here in England, it is common to find your washing machine in the kitchen. It took me a bit of time to get used to that, but I can understand why they do it, as there usually is a drainage system in the kitchen, so they can hook up your washing machine easily to it. Other rooms that could be found are family rooms, which are similar to living rooms. You could have an office, a theater, playrooms, and attics. On the outside of your home, you can have a roof that can be made of various materials such as tiles, shingles, and metal. For the structure of your home, you could have various materials like brick, siding, wood, metal, timber, and concrete. Many homes have windows; rather, they are standard double pane, single pane, or triple pane glass, which means the thickness of the glass. You can have sliding windows, hinged or non-opening windows. You may also find bay windows, which are ones that extend out of the house at a 25 to 45 degree angle, and consist of three panels of glass. I have always loved the look of bay windows inside and out. 
I think that is enough talk about homes for now. I could give even more details, but I do not want to overwhelm you. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like more content, then please subscribe to this podcast. You can also support me on Patreon. Find me by typing in Kaylin Teacher. On Patreon, you can gain early access to the podcast and transcriptions. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Kaylin underscore teacher. Thank you for listening. I hope you all have a great day. Until next time. Bye.